So whilst the United States sets itself on fire over the results of the presidential election, I'm here to talk about something that's actually important. And that's slop content. So I'm not gonna pretend that my videos are the most amazing videos in the world. I'm not gonna pretend that they're peak content or anything or they're the best videos that you've ever seen before in your entire fucking life. Because my content definitely is indeed what you can consider slop content. Because my videos are basically just me speaking to a microphone, putting it into Sony Vegas along with some gameplay, and that's kind of it. Sometimes I'll throw in some like images like from other videos to serve some context or some tweets that I found to have to do with the context of the video. But that's about it and I don't really do anything else for the videos besides just offering my own opinion about a certain discussion like the Fusi drama that's been happening recently. All of my videos about Mr. Beast or even just recently as the V2 Projects films drama that happened. What? What the fuck is this? I'm not even trying to be on no hating shit, but what, what the fuck am I looking at? Can somebody give me the context behind this? I saw this picture earlier. I thought it was like some type of meme. It's a dude? No shit. Guys, anybody that's role playing as this is a fucking grown man. That's basically what my videos just kind of boil themselves down to is that there's, there's just me talking to a mic, giving my opinion about something, and that's kind of it. My videos are definitely not amazing. You can consider them to be slop content. And I wouldn't be mad if you considered them to be slop content. You can consider other channels such as Sensitive Society, Tom Dark, and More Pegasus to be slop content. And you know, you wouldn't be incorrect for saying that, but I think those videos still offer something of a specific value on the YouTube platform themselves. And the reason why I'm talking about it is because there were a couple of videos recently. Uh, one of them was from the YouTube channel, Raymundo2112, and they talked about how YouTube has a slop problem and that it's a problem and that there are a lot of channels like Tom Dark and Sensitive Society who are doing a lot of the very similar type of videos where they're just talking about a specific uh, drama discussion. So something like Mr. Beast, of course, and they get a lot of views for it. More Pegasus is one of the channels that has infamously milked the Mr. Beast drama to absurdity. Oh, his career is over. The situation got worse. Using the same thumbnails, reversing the thumbnails. Yeah, it's like More Pegasus is definitely one of those channels that has definitely milk this entire situation and you could consider his channel to be slop but the thing that i watch these channels for is for a different perspective and that's what i get from a lot of these channels because a lot of them have very differing opinions from one another and that's what i find of value from channels such as sense of society and tom dark and more pegasus sure they are informing me of certain topics and of certain situations because tom dark talks a lot about certain subjects that go down within the youtube sphere but at the end of the day i'm here to try to listen to what their perspective of the situation is and that's why i watch channels like these they're not the best videos that i've ever seen before they're never going to be the best videos that i've ever seen before and that's why whenever i have an opportunity I shout out my other YouTube content creator friends, Cabal and Pedro360, because I genuinely think that their videos are very fun and very entertaining and are worth watching because they add something of value to the stuff that they're making. I still find something of value within these channels in comparison to other channels that I've seen before in the past, such as a lot of YouTube Shorts channels, which basically just results to them re-uploading memes that they found on the internet, and that's basically it. There are a lot of channels over the years that have just basically copied Mr. Beast's thumbnails and titles and just personality entirely and continue to keep making videos about it. Morgz infamously is one of the channels that got made fun of it the most because he's been doing it the longest. Uh, you also have other channels like Matthew Beam, Brent Rivera, the Russian Mr. Beast A4, and they basically just have very similar thumbnails, very similar premises for their videos, very similar titles, and everything that has to do with the, with the channels that they're making the content they're basically just exact carbon copies of Mr. Beast because Mr. Beast is one of the few YouTubers in the world that has actually figured out the algorithm, figured out everything there is on YouTube and what works and continues to keep doing the same thing and gets a lot of views and money and attention for it. And these other channels are basically just trying to copy the exact same thing. And you know, I understand why they do it. It's garbage content. It's entirely fucking slop and you can completely get rid of these channels off of the platform entirely and no one would miss them but I understand why they're there and, you know, allow them, I'm, you know, they can get the bag, right? I understand why they're doing it. If I had the opportunity, I would probably want to do the same thing as well. And, but I don't do that. I'm the type of person that likes to talk and give their opinions about random internet bullshit. And that's why I make the videos that I do. Another channel that I also want to bring up are channels that have to just basically re-upload other people's entire videos entirely. And to give a little bit of context as to why I'm talking about this one specifically, who you're about to see in a moment, 
basically there was a video on my channel which was just a re-upload of someone else's tiktok i edited it a little bit right but it wasn't enough for it to be really fully transformative it was basically just someone else's tiktok entirely just with slight tweaks to the original video and then I uploaded it on my YouTube channel. I didn't think that the video was going to do as well as it ended up doing. I didn't think that the video was going to go into the algorithm as good as it did. But lo and behold, it shot up in the algorithm and got 3.2 million views. And is the most viewed video on my channel, regardless of it being a long form video or a short video. And I hate it. I hate that video with every fiber of my being because it wasn't my content. And I felt horrible for uploading it. And immediately I wanted to delete it but then it kept growing and growing and growing and I was like like what do I do at that point because I had already like got so much like recognition off of the video I had already gotten so many subscribers and so many views off of the video I didn't really know what to do at that point so I started crediting the original creator in the comments of that video in the title of the video in the description I think I did the description but mainly the the pinned comment in the title of the video because those are the first things that people are going to see. They're going to see the pinned comment and they're going to see the title of the video. So the only thing that I can hope is that people are going to click on the name, click on the links in, in, in the pinned comment, and go and check out the original creator on their TikTok and on their YouTube shorts because that is their video. This was their original video. And I felt bad for stealing the views because they absolutely 100% deserved it. Because I all I did was just steal all those comments, steal all those likes, steal all those views steal all the subscribers that they could have gotten and i feel horrible for doing that which is why i've never uploaded a video like that ever again and since then i have stopped uploading videos like that entirely i've stopped uploading youtube shorts entirely it's been over a year since i last uploaded a youtube short and that's just not the content that i do anymore i talk about certain topics and discussions that i find interesting enough like the asmongold situation anything that has to do with mr beast kick streamers doing something shitty the fussy jew drama that happened recently not really drama but situation the ksi the whole him embarrassing himself lunchly other vtuber drama everything else that has to do with any anything else i'll talk about it because that's something that i find interesting enough and warranting uh, another differing opinion from other content creators that you'll see on the platform kind of rambling on but the main point that i'm trying to get to is the, that i had a friend f that i knew for a very long time i've known him for around 10 years and he shot up recently he got a bunch of subscribers and he's doing kind of well but the reason why he's doing so well is because he is taking other people's tiktoks and not transforming them in any way whatsoever he's taking the title the the, the thumbnail and he's just re-uploading them as youtube shorts he's taking other people's tiktoks and uploading it onto his youtube shorts page and he's gotten millions and millions of views hundreds of not hundreds of thousands but tens of thousands of subscribers for it and he's just taking other people's content and there are other channels that do exactly this they just take other people's videos and they upload it onto their own YouTube channel. Another series of channels that you can also classify as being slop content are the clip farming channels, which is basically just a subcategory of clip farmers where they basically just take clips from certain creators like Queso and Jinxie and Neon and uh, Jack Doherty, and they just upload clips of them onto their pages, like such as their YouTube channels, their TikToks, their YouTube shorts, and they just upload those clips onto their channels and they get hundreds of thousands of views, a ton of likes, and a ton of subscribers, and they get all this recognition for basically doing nothing. And I think if you want to criticize slop content on the platform, I think commentary channels like Sense of Society, Tom Dark, More Pegasus, Jamari, uh, Atozi, uh, I guess Moist Critical, you can consider them as a commentary channel, a ton of other channels that do very similar type of content. If you want to criticize them, you can, but I wouldn't classify them as, cl as slop content when you have much worse channels that exist on the platform. And I don't think there's really much that you can do about it other than just criticizing it because hundreds of thousands of hours worth of content is being uploaded daily on, on YouTube. So occasionally some videos like that are gonna slip through the cracks. Terrible videos are gonna slip through the cracks. They're gonna be uploaded and they're gonna get a lot of views. They're gonna get a lot of attention. But the only thing that you can really do is just criticize them for being terrible videos and slop content and hope that eventually they'll fall off and they'll stop being recognized for not even being great videos. And yeah, that's pretty much all I really have to say about this discussion. I thought it was just very interesting and that's why I'm making a video about it. 
And yeah, I'm kind of killing my throat a little bit. My throat's really dry. I need to drink some water, obviously. So yeah, meanwhile, uh, I'm doing that. I'm going to go ahead and watch the world burn. Because like I said, the presidential election has caused everyone to go into a fucking uproar. And I'm fully expecting something bad to happen. So yeah, whilst to go ahead and continue to keep watching my, my slop content and keep making my slop content, I'm going to go ahead and watch the world burn. So yeah, that's pretty much it. If you liked the video, be sure to leave a like. If you want to see more, please be sure to subscribe. I would highly appreciate it if you would join the memberships. I want to give a shout out to the current member on the channel right now, which is Pedro360, ironically enough. I already shot him out earlier in the video, but here we are again. So yeah, consider joining the members. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more and follow me on Twitter if you want to see some stupid ass tweets. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.